I'm Nicola's friend, Christina. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to my van. Hello. <laughs> I have this, like I have a bucket list, basically, which I revamp every year for New Year's, and I um, add three things to it uh, to do that following year. So I plan it and I actually do things that I want to do in my life. Because of COVID, you know, things ground to a halt like everything did, and um, I didn't really have a list for two years. But last year I had uh, I had to have uh, thoracic surgery, which would take me out of work for three months. And I'm like, well, what am I gonna do for three months? And I thought, well, and I, and I can't have a bunch of money to go on vacation, so why don't I go camping? So I bought the, the camper van. Um, it had the original um, conversion kit in it at that time, so I could just use it and go. And that's what I did. I, I traveled about four, almost 4,000 kilometers, I think. Doing that, I realized that you know, the van isn't exactly set up exactly the way I'd want it to be, and it was 19, you know, it's 1985 vehicle, and so and so is the equipment inside it. Things have come a long way since 1985. It, it just made me want to do a bunch of changes, and that's. It, I just started making them without really even thinking, and making those decisions, and I'm still making the decisions. I still don't know exactly how I'm going to do things, but I kind of know what I want now, and I want to do some long trips. Like I'd like to go all the way across Canada. Uh, I'd also like to get down to Yosemite and you know visit the big uh, great national parks in the USA. When I do that, I want this to be very comfortable um, and I want it to be very functional. I don't know, I'm kind of not a minimalist. I'd like to have a lot of stuff with me and I just want it to be organized and I want everything to be really functional. I have two little dogs and one of them is terrible in the car. Like really bad he pants and he's, he's terrified. And one of the first uh, things that I've been doing is adding this um, beautiful uh, sound deadening um, or dampening uh, material as insulation. I'm just gonna work while you <laughs> get ready because I'm here. And I got time. I've already cut myself. This shit is so sharp. I'm supposed to wear gloves. Look at I'm already bleeding. <laughs> Every time. Like the first thing, gloves, gloves. This stuff's neat to work with. And you don't have to be like super careful, it's just, you can mold it into different, you know, edges and stuff. As far as functionality for myself, I just want things to be easier, you know, I'm aging rapidly it feels like, and I just want things to be easy. So I want to have, um, uh, have my bed already made, I don't want to have to ever make a bed, but I want to have space. So I want it to have, be able to um, sit up and then move down so it can morph into a chair really easily or a couch and then be pulled down into a bed but not have to remake anything because I want to be using this for a few years still and um, and then uh, I'll probably pass it on to my my little nieces or something as they get older to use for their friends. I have a mission like I have a lot of things I want to do um, and see it's just a, you know it is a 1985 van and it's gonna require some upkeep um, and I'm game to do it I did a lot of engine work already but at some point, you know, I might want to switch over to something that is less maintenance and, you know, I can just uh, possibly, if I get lucky, not have to work on it. But one of the reasons I do have this van is because it's easy to work on. Like for me, I understand the engine and I understand how it runs, um, whereas computerized uh, engines and, and even fuel injection, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't know how to work on that kind of engines. Like I pulled out the whole dash, I painted everything and um, I replaced all the, uh, like the lights in the dashboard, anything you had to do under the dash, I did. I replaced the um, the wind uh, windshield wiper motor. That dash took 12 hours to get out. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one piece, and I did crack it. I cracked it in one spot that was big. I was so choked, but it's it was it was just you know somebody had worked on it, and the um, the cluster, which is the part where the speedometer and the you know, gas um, all the gauges are. So the cluster is the cluster of wires behind that, and somebody had changed some things. And the wires were so short that you couldn't pull it away to get the dash off. So it was, you know, you had to work and I, I had a, like no knuckles left, and, you know, because of reaching under and you're trying to screw things backwards. And anyways, it was not fun. <laughs> but I say funny. <laughs> and you feel proud of yourself for getting it done, right? This is the type of roof that was in the top as well. And I, I kind of like it. 
I want to keep everything that says getaway, right? Like, but you know, even cleaning the mats, they don't like. I know it's filthy right now, but they don't really come clean, clean. But, but this this piece I'll keep. And I love the little lights that the guy put in behind me. This is garbage, right? But you can see it's rusted right here. So these need to be pulled out and they need to be reinstalled. So there's bike trips I want to do from my van. I want to go part way and then do some biking. Um, and there's canoe trips I want to do. Uh, I want to go to the Yukon and canoe the Yukon uh, River. Um, so I'd like to just drive up there and be able to jump in a canoe and do that. Last summer I, I went to, you know, it's a weird one on my bucket list, but I did the soup potholes for the first time, which was... <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I mean, I could have done it so many times, but uh, just never ended up doing it. And it's right in your own backyard, right? So I kind of want to do a few more things like that. Getting Yosemite is sort of the front runner right now uh, for me because there's so many natural wonders there and um, amazing wildlife and uh, just things that you don't normally get to see. Plus the East Coast is the other part. Like I want to make it across the country and just have a real adventure. And, although I think before I never thought I would be making one, I thought I would be buying one. And, this is a much more, I think it's a much better way to go because you get to make it exactly your own and um, it's, it's very fulfilling, I think. When I first got this, um, when I was traveling in it, you know, I just didn't know what was under everything. And now I do. And now I know what's going to be there and, and where everything is and if there's an issue, um, how I can deal with it. So uh, I, just, I, I just feel better about it. I hope to understand. <laughs> right now, the back lock doesn't work on the, the um, doors, so the guy before me has just stuck a padlock on it for safety, which isn't very safe if there's a fire in the front of my van and I'm in the back of it and I can't get out. I mean, I'd like a dash cam and I'm, I'm considering installing some motion sensor lights outside, although they bug me at campgrounds, kind of, but they like to be in the dark. I think I would just encourage people to to do something like this, um, especially uh, women that um, might be worried uh, they don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to do anything either. <laughs> yeah, I took some auto shop um, 35 years ago. I took a, um, like a car maintenance course in high school. But you know, since then, have forgotten more than I've ever learned. And uh, I, without YouTube, I'd probably not be able to do very much at all. But it, that's just it, it's all there on YouTube. And, some really amazing people that teach you how to how to do things properly and uh, walk you through step by step and, and that's all, really all you need so uh, that and Lord Co. <laughs> There's a shout out for Lord Co. And I'll tell you what not to do don't take your door handles off if you're still planning on driving the van around because you can't get out <laughs> yep. and, it, and it's hot and you can't put your